Hi everyone, it's Mercy Denning here from Stampin' with Mercy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And I want to welcome you to my Wednesday evening Facebook Live. Um, or it could be an afternoon or it could be um, morning, uh, wherever you are watching me from. Thank you so much for taking a few moments out of your busy day to join me. I truly do appreciate it. I'm just making sure my iPad here does not have any sound. We wouldn't want that. Um, please say hello when you join me. Let me know where you're coming from. Even if you are on the replay, I would still love to hear from you. Um, it doesn't matter if it is the replay here on Facebook or if you're watching YouTube uh, later on um, please say hello and if you're watching on YouTube please give me a thumbs up and go to the bottom and click that subscribe button if you haven't yet okay so <clears throat> this uh, next paper pumpkin is batter up it is a um, baseball themed paper pumpkin kit so if you or any of your um, loved ones, family, friends, love baseball, then this is the kit for you. Um, the sign-up deadline is May the 10th, so uh, you do have some time as it is April the 14th right now. So tonight we are using the Art Gallery Bundle, the absolutely gorgeous uh, stamp set with the coordinating floral gallery dies. This card that I'm going to be creating with you is one that I created for our Diana Gibbs and I's Over the Border, our Spring Social. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jim. Thanks for joining. Um, the Over the Border Spring Social. This is one of the cards that I had created for that fun event. So we are going to be recreating this tonight. And I don't know that my... Um, camera's going to pick up. I've got some Wake of Stella. Of course I do. It's my favorite um, embellishment. So um, the uh, these this piece here, the scalloped black, that is from the Stitched So Sweetly dies. I've already embossed my cardstock with the uh, painted texture um, 3D embossing folder and then my uh, designer series paper is the fine art floral uh, that goes with the suite so let's get started here we're going to bring in our pierce mat um, because it is um, photopolymer meaning you can see through it and I can see a martial hair right there he was just crying at my door because I closed the door so he couldn't come in. <laughs> Aren't I mean tonight? But I was like, buddy, you are very, very um, needy this evening. So I don't want you jumping up um, onto my tabletop during my live. So I'm just going to close you out for the moment. All right. So our ink color is So Saffron. This is going to be a very quick and easy card. All of the measurements, as well as product links to purchase anything that I have used this evening, um, can be found on my blog. The post will be going live at 8 p.m. So we're just going to stamp right here. Giving it a moment for that ink to transfer. So I cut our grass today for the very first time. Oh, that's very uh, bubbly looking. Hmm, let's try that again. Strange. All right, let's hope that um, this time we get a nicer stamped image. <clears throat> yes, I got the grass cut for the first time. It looks so much better with a... Um, its first haircut. You know how in the spring your grass, when it comes up, it's all lumpy bumpy and uh, perfect timing. Oh, that one is so much better. 
the uh, company that uh, we always get to do our um, rolling and aerating was by like not even an hour after I was done. So I'm just gonna stamp this just to make sure, yep. Yeah. Um, so not only did I get the grass cut, but the fella came and rolled, aerated, and fertilized. So woohoo, I am so super excited. And hopefully we don't get that pesky mole back again this year that totally destroyed my backyard and ate half of my brand new perennials. Okay, so this, I've gone tone on tone and you can't really see it, like it's not like wow in your face, it's very subtle. So um, I like that look. You could stamp off with this and then stamp solid with this, but I wanted that, um, bit darker type of image. And then as the ink dries, it does tone down slightly. So I'm just gonna move this stuff out of my way. I am going to move that out of the way. I'm gonna bring in, hello Lisa, thanks for joining me this evening. I'm going to bring in my uh, plate for my stamp and cut emboss machine. I had the big one out. I'm actually gonna flip this. My, the big sister was out on my desk here, not the little one, because um, with the 3D embossing folders, these don't fit in the little baby boss, as I call it, the little sister. So um, I had the big one out to um, do that, and I thought, well, we'll just keep it at the big one. So I'm just, let's get it so that I can actually see it here. All right, so my catalogs have arrived. I am so excited yet. I've been so busy. I shot four videos today. I haven't uploaded yet. Wrote um, two blog posts, uh, three tutorials, um, been packaging up card kits for my um, a cut above class in the mail as well as for the last of our um, over the border with Di and Marcy our uh, monthly classes this is the last monthly class that we're going to be holding we're just going to stick to our spring and fall social so that is uh, the 24th, the sweet ice cream. So I've been busy cutting for that as well. So it's been a very busy day. And that's why I'm not in my video tonight. I am not presentable in the least. So, um, hello Carol, hello Pamela and Marie. Thanks for joining. Um, so as you can see, we've die cut this out. So let's bring in all the rest of our layers and we can get them together. So this is my um, fine art floral designer series paper. I've got my three strips here for the card front and then I've got the one strip for the inside. I love this pattern, so pretty. Okay, so to build this, move all this out of the way, we're gonna take our thick basic white cardstock base that is four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. Okay, there we go. And then I've got my basic black, and this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Um, hello, Debbie. Uh, thanks for joining, Diane and Mar. So nice to uh, see you all on here joining me this evening. I also, tomorrow, 
I have a bunch of stuff to take to the post office. I have my one set of swaps done for the new annual catalog. And then I've got um, some of my uh, a cut above and sweet ice cream there. Well, the sweet ice cream is not going anywhere yet because my stamp sets are on back order. So hopefully they arrive very soon. But yay, I got the one set of swaps done. And then I have to create another set of swaps. So I have been a very busy, busy bee. Okay, so then this is your basic black with the stitched so sweetly um, scalloped die. And this is just basic white cardstock. And I can't tell you the measurement because it's goofy. It's just cut to fit inside this. Um, okay. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this. Oops, I've got a little cut piece. Let's see, will you fit there? Flip it over and see, yep, it's hidden. You know me, if you follow me, you know that I love my dimensionals and I use a lot of them. Let's put the lid on my glue so it doesn't get um, all clogged. Let's move you. Can I move you? Nope, you are stuck there. So let's grab another one of these little because I stuck it down too low. All right, and then a couple of these little pieces. We don't like any saggy. One there and one there. And then I wanna cut a really skinny piece for there because I don't want that to um, end up uh, sagging forward. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just taking a little strip off of here. I'm customizing, making my own size. And just popping that right there. All right, so let's just see. Yes, I can put a little one here. So let's cut this in half. I think a smidge too big, so we're just gonna go like that. All right. So one there, and the other one right there, and that should be good. Hello, Marina and Valerie and Vicky. Okay, and Friday, I have a video for you that will be going live at 6 a.m. And it is, oh, I just pulled, look at that. <laughs> Where did you come from? Right here. Um, a sneak peek of brand new product from the mini, the new annual catalog. Come on, get off of my finger. It totally, because it's warm in here because I've closed my door, so it doesn't want to come off. All right, so there we go. Stick down, please. Okay, so 
This is going to be put right in the center. Just like that. <clears throat> All right, so to um, put our strips of designer series paper, so these are three quarters of an inch wide by um, three and three quarters of an inch. Let's do it this way. So I'm trying to get it so that it's not all the dark or not all the light on one side or the other. I want to have it fairly balanced. So I'm going to use my lines on my grid paper because I can see through my uh, silicone craft sheet here. And they are fairly close together. I'm a very visual stamper learner. <clears throat> okay, so that looks like that's going to be good. And I'm not putting any sentiment on here because um, I can then use this card for anything. So this time I'm taking my centerpiece out. And I am going to will it look better that way. No, because those are the exact same tone. So we'll do it this way. Slide that right in between. So what is everybody watching on TV? Brad and I the other night started The Stand, Stephen King's The Stand on Amazon Prime. I read that book. I own that book um years ago so uh it's a uh, refresher i don't remember i'm not one of those people that can remember like every single thing word for word type of thing um i remember the bad guy and the some of the big stuff and then of course you know they when they create um from the uh, book, they always take creative license. Sometimes that drives me nutty. When you fall in love with a character or the way the story has been told and then the screenwriters take liberty with your beloved story, um, that drives me nuts. But uh, hopefully um, this is going to be quite enjoyable for us to watch. Brad's not a big reader, so he hasn't read it, and The Stand was an epic novel, kind of like It, another epic novel. Um, so, I'm not sure how big of a series this is. All right, so I'm just gonna add a few extras here just because I've got them. Mary is watching Zero Chill. It's a really good show. Vicki, it is, um, so far, we've only watched the very first episode, and it was good. It was good. So, yes, I am a giant Stephen King fan. I have, those of uh, you that <clears throat> have been to my classroom know that one of the uh, bookcases downstairs was full of my Stephen King uh, books. I collect them in hard copy um, and they are like my pride and joy. After my children, of course, that is. <laughs> okay, so there we have that stamped um, or stuck on there. So now I'm going to take my snail mail the white baker's twine from it and we're going to do a double bow i'm very happy that <clears throat> we have um baker white baker's twine in the uh, new catalog new catalog however it's not a very big spool because it's uh, paired with a bunch of other colors um vanilla and Oh, 
I don't even remember. I was just excited to see the uh, white back, but I would prefer to get a solid, big solid spool of it. And I've got that frog in my throat because everything is in bud right now and the allergies are kicking in. All right, so I think that's still, yeah, that's too big. We don't want it to overpower. And my so saffron was re-inked and oh my goodness, it is dark, isn't it guys? Hello, Brenda. Thanks for joining. It's funny, I see Facebook is still doing that. It's telling me the same person over and over is watching. Um, it's very weird. I don't know what's going on with that, but. All right, so. Let's make you just a titch smaller. So I'm holding the center and pulling gently on those loops so that they don't go all wonky on me. Pull them together in the center so that you can give it a little bit of a haircut so that it's fairly even. And then we are going to take our, I keep forgetting that my glue dots are on the inside. I'm so used to them being here, um, not on the, inside underneath parts so we're going to roll that up and we're going to put that right there where my bow is going to go and stick that right like that and then we're going to use some of these matte black dots i just love these things and i'm thrilled that they are carrying over because you just can't get enough of these things. So has everybody um, been checking out the um, clearance rack? There are some great, or there were some great deals on there. I noticed the round and rectangle tins from the holiday catalog were on there. Um, before the catalog was done, I went and stocked up. I think I got four boxes of each of those the rectangle and the round because I really like them and thought that they would be a great, um, well, there's a hair fluffy on that, a great thing to have um, on hand for when we are able to get back together again. Um, if you're having some kind of a shower or event or something like that, to decorate up for um, a party favor or um, give a, somebody a gift. Um, we'll do the Wink of Stella last. So let's just move this over to, for a second. We're gonna take our designer series paper and this is three quarters of an inch by four inches or just a smidge past four. Thank you, Brianna. Okay, so I'm just turning it over so that I can make sure that I'm even. Cross the bottom, that's the easiest way to tell if you're um, gluing your designer series paper down straight, that you take a look at the back side, and there's nothing hanging out there, so I know that I've done a decent job of lining that up. So again, Friday is a video, and it is a sneak peek of a um, product that is going to be available in like two and a half weeks. So two and a half weeks that the annual catalog is still around. So that retiring list, um, it's on my blog. Uh, some things have already sold out. So if there is anything that you've been humming and hawing about and will be sad if it's gone and you don't own it, I would suggest that um, you get on that 
sooner rather than later to uh, purchase those uh, items before you have to say goodbye forever. So all I'm doing is I am taking my clear wink of Stella and I am just here and there where those that dark um, smaller stamp was and here I'm just dotting so it's just adding that little bit of uh, glitter so let's just pull that out of the way so that we don't get and let's bring up here and it just adds that teeny tiny bit more to it I think by um, by adding that little bit of Wink of Stella so very simple no sentiment means you can use this for any um, occasion that you need um, I need to actually send a, um, a friend a sympathy card so this is going to be perfect because it's not over the top it's not in your face it's very subtle um, soft and pretty with no sentiment that means it's good for any occasion that you might need so yes love 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 this um bundle of products hello sue thank you hello carol thank you so um that is all for me tonight so we have our inside done as well and you can see can you see the this card here is a little yellowier than this one here this one here was the uh, retired or no longer available whisper white and then this is our basic white the new basic white so even though the whisper white always looked so bright white this new basic white is even brighter so if i bring that up yeah there's just that slightest color difference but yes just love it i'm so happy that we have white card stock that we can uh, create with but yes so um, thank you, Marie. I'm glad you like it. So that is all for me today. If you're needing anything, um, please uh, shop my online store and use this month's host code. If you um, your order is under $200, if it's over $200, do not use the host code because Stampin' Up! will give you your own host rewards. Um, I always, um, when you use a host, my host code, I always include an extra little thank you um, with my thank you cards. I have to go through and check and make sure that I'm getting caught up on my thank you cards. So I know I'm a little behind. So if you're wondering where your thank you card is, it is coming, guys. Um, I truly do appreciate all of the uh, love and support you give me. I love my job and... Um, I uh, love bringing you uh, lots of new um, inspiration and ideas each week. All right, that is it for me. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, and <clears throat> I will see you on Monday morning. Um, don't forget, Friday is a sneak peek um, video at 6 a.m., and um, I will see you on Monday. Have a great rest of your week and weekend. Bye for now.